Well, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Brad Smith 313Z and here I am a long time ago in the gal galaxy far far away. Yes, it's Star Wars the Old Republic. I'm here with my bounty hunter character uh, Zed Ran. As you can tell I have a few other characters here but this is what I'm playing right now between this and the uh, Assassin LCO. So, all right. And here's the scrawl. Uh, <laughs> so, if this was a Star Wars movie. Of course, if this was a Star Wars movie, we would have the Star Wars theme. But, uh, because of copyright issues, we can't do that. Oh, PvP, okay. Alright, so, we're going forward with the main storyline missions. And a little bit of, you know, backstory here. Uh, Zed ran. Hold on a second. Hello. Hey, Brad, it's Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to run the card? Yes, yes, yes. I sent you an email earlier, so so yes, should be fine. Well, it's, it's, it's Friday, so, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, no, it's... All right. All right, thank you, sir. You have a good weekend. Okay, bye. You know, I tried to get a bunch of business done today, so I wasn't going to be bothered with these calls, but, you know, and usually I let it, I'll just ghost it, but I couldn't. So anyway, backstory. Yes, if you, if you do any sort of role-playing game, you know how important backstories are. In this case, Zed ran, uh, before he became a bounty hunter, he, um... He was an imperial. He was a, an imperial operative for a while. Uh, he received some training. Things didn't work out. Well, actually, he just up and left. So, <laughs> so that's his story, and he's sticking to it. So, okay, here we go. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay. So this is the final task of before the Great Malay. What the? All oh, right, the bounty hunter. Glad you could make it. You mm. nervous hunter. Parked in the middle of Imperial intelligence and all. I can say one word, or touch one button, and you'd disappear forever. Poof. Gone. Just like that. No one would even dare to ask what happened to you. Go ahead. Say the word and see what happens. <laughs> Nicely done. I like you, hunter. I really do. I never signed up for this cloak and dagger stuff. I was a regular soldier. Then one day, I put together a covert op raid that goes a little too well. And bam, I'm in Imperial Intelligence. Look, what I'm saying is the stuff that goes on in these halls is insane. And all of it is crazy hush-hush. So what I'm going to tell you has to stay just between you and me. Got it? 
my price tag always includes the cost of discretion. Yes, it does. Here's the deal. There's a huge ancient Sith temple on Drummond Cut. Used to just sit there being scary. Now the place is crawling with Sith sorcery. And it's been ordered a no-go zone for everyone. Naturally, we sent a team in. My commander led that team. Nobody came back. We can't report any of them dead without reporting the mission, which puts me in a bind. How so? Why is it important to report those people dead? We need to explain them being gone. But that's not all of it. If I can't prove my commander's dead, I can't take over his spot, which means an ugly power vacuum. I'm hiring you to enter that temple and find the team's ID cards, especially my commander's. I need those IDs to create more acceptable deaths for them. What if they're still alive? What if this commander and his team are still alive? They're not. And even if they are, they're not. Understood. Oh, Make sure geez. you find an Imperial commander named Gargan. Can't imagine there'll be more than one corpse in a temple wearing commander stripes. Grab all the team's ID cards and double time it back here quietly. Oh, jeez. Well, this is this is why he left Imperial service the way he did. Oh my God. Okay, so. Ready for departure. I want to check some things out here first. Okay, I got a bad feeling about this mission. No offense, Hunter, but we were better off before the war, when we were still closed to the rest of the galaxy. First, it's slave rebellions in the jungle, then this. We wouldn't have allowed these kinds of things 30 years ago. What's the problem, officer? I was sent to this construction site to investigate unusual behavior among the droids. <laughs> I wasn't here long when one of the units attacked me. I barely escaped with my life, but worse than that, I found this transmitter on the droid. What's so bad about finding a transmitter? Mm -hmm. These are not Imperial issued transmitters. They're being used to control the droids and receive data from them in return. I oh. warned my superiors what would happen if they continued to be lax about this planet's security. Someone, an independent interest, a rogue Sith Lord, is using these droids to broadcast Car City's schematics to an off planet location. Mm. And the mission? Where do I come in? We need to get those transmitters. If we can remove enough of them from the droids, it'll make the data they're sending unintelligible. The sooner we get those transmitters out, the better. This information can't end up in the hands of our enemies. Okay. Oh, unauthorized transmission part one. Well... Mako, it's gonna get fun. It's kind of funny seeing so much of the new cost city growing up around the old Sith architecture. It's like stepping through time. Yeah, it is. And it's creepy nonetheless. 
Oh my god. We'll do it this way. I believe I'm going to do a um, Imperial Operative run.
have to box in, actually. Captain Eisen. Back already? And you have the transmitters? Here they are. Let's take them already. Well, what do you know? And here I was starting to think efficiency had gone out of style. I owe you thanks. If you'll give me a moment, I'll upload the data to high command and we'll see what's what. I wonder if Grafton is part of this. This is worse than I ever would have imagined. Yeah. <laughs> Lord Grafton's behind this. He has to be. I know that bastard. This Lord Grafton and his renegade forces. What's he done now? He's covered his tracks well. We won't be able to prove it, but Lord Grafton has been sending security codes and planetary readouts off-world. Everything an invading army would need. Major Shellister is already en route to the probable invasion site with every soldier he can find. They'll meet you just across the bridge. Hurry. Well, wait a second. Um, uh, I didn't sign up for this. Buster.
Oh, that was easy. Right here? Starting to come back to me. Buster.
Another primitive staff. Down there. Oh, oh God. like I made it now how not how I planned on doing it oh, Jesus. do you require medical attention Following your lead. Well, here's this. Here's a staff. Oh, you shouldn't have. Well, since you put it that way. Oh, you shouldn't have. Yeah, you're probably right. I probably shouldn't have. Okay, let's do. Wayne Lothar. You certainly look fearless and strong. I could use your help out here. Please excuse me. It's these long nights excavating relics near the Dark Temple. I'm Major Swain Lothar, Imperial Reclamation Service. My team uncovered several significant artifacts at a nearby dig. That's when things started going wrong. Ow. Don't leave me hanging. I'm sorry. It's just that I can hardly make sense of it myself. First, it was strange noises from the temple. Then, figures lurking nearby. My team didn't like it, but I told them to push on. Now, their day's overdue, and I owe a report to Lord Duan. But I can't go out there. I need someone to find them. Make sure the artifacts make it. Okay. I'll get your boys and your trinkets. Thank you. I was just about to write the whole dig off as a loss. My team's still in those caves. Whatever's happened, please bring those relics to Lord Duan. He's overseeing a small camp by the Dark Temple. Oh God. Over the last three days, a series of transmissions left Drummond Cast Hold on and were received by ships orbiting a nearby asteroid. These transmissions all right. contained safe landing coordinates for the planet's surface and security codes to bypass the orbital defenses.
Sorry about this, folks. I've already heard most of this from Captain Eisen. The question is, who's behind the invasion? Of course. I was going to be thorough. Several hours ago, small shuttles built to avoid sensor detection began to land and deliver troops to the planet's surface. These troops are brutal alien mercenaries of the exile of Lord Titonus. Students of Sith politics will remember she was the rebel who declared her own kingdom on Bagheera. I thought that Captain Eisen said Grathen was behind this. It may be that Lord Grathen gave her the information. But it's not his army landing. Lord Titonus has judged her timing perfectly. With so many of our forces off-planet, it is possible she could take Kar City if she lands her entire mercenary army. Oh, we geez. must stop her shuttles from landing and beat back her forces. I've thrown every resource I have down there already. Now it's up to you. Okay. Alrighty. Well... Okay.
Jesus, two of them? Oh, this is not good. This is not going to be easy. Narshada was nothing like this. There's nothing to be sentimental about there. If something's old and unused, it gets knocked down and built over. Usually with a casino. Serious? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You may die, so I better do something nice.
Wait a second. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. Excuse me. Oh, shit. Thanks, strangers. Well, yeah. 
out. Thanks. Oh god. Okay. Hmm. Not good. Oh, Jesus, really? This oh, God. oh, in here? Okay, all right. You mean I can't be alone? Oh, jeez. Marco. Oh, Jesus. I knew there was a reason why I didn't like this one. pissed right now. Actually, I'm a lot pissed.
Oh god. This is gonna be a bitch of a boss fight, literally. Lord Gratham was behind the transmissions that allowed her invasion, but it doesn't matter. Everyone who matters knows the truth, and Gratham is already losing influence and followers. Jesus, God. Ah, oh, that just... God. 
Okay. Where the hell? On the lifts! I was working this Brad Smith review the other day. And he got lost again. He, he gets lost in a lot of things. He gets lost in Fallout 4, he gets lost in video, and he gets lost in Star Wars. What the hell? Oh god. Oh god. There's gotta be. How'd I get in here? Yeah, Mako, just, just run, just run. <sighs> or I could get myself shot. Is it down this way? I'm not just a pretty sidekick, Buster.
god. products only as intended. <laughs> Be well. Let's see. Okay. Do you require medical attention? Be well. Okay. Got it under control. Just mopping up now. We've got it under control. Just mopping up now. So I take it I got. All right.
medical attention. No, 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 no. Be well. products only as intended. Be well. Only a moment to rest. Those things from the Dark Temple are attacking again. Jez thinks they're drawn to the artifacts. I bet he's right. They went berserk the second we packed everything up to leave. It's time to make a stand. If those crazies want our relics, they'll have to kill us first. Okay. I did talk to him. What the hell? All right. Okay, so I have to go. Okay.
Try this. Okay. Uh, let's deal with. Um, Please use all products only as intended. I've sent three separate expeditions into the Dark Temple. Not one has returned. I can't say for sure what's going on. But people who go in there, they don't come back. What's the situation? I'm not sure how you arrived at that. Sounds I heard coming out of that place would send a rancor running, if it was smart enough to run. You can survive the Dark Temple. I beg you to do me, and more importantly, the Empire a favor. The expeditions I sent in were looking for specific data. I can spare the manpower. They were slaves, mostly. But the data is essential. Data? What kind of data was it? We were studying a recent increase in seismic activity in the area, including possible damage to the temple itself. The slaves from the expeditions were equipped with data pads to store the data they collected. Bring back those data pads. This information's vital to future construction on Drome and Kars. It's not glamorous, but will you help? Of course. It shouldn't be a problem. Amazing. Fantastic. Your help is invaluable. I'll mark the location the expedition last signaled from on your map. It's the best I can do. God, Seth really looked unhealthy. Ever notice that? Okay, um... <laughs> you mercenary, you will let through. Has someone finally decided to secure the temple? I'm here another bit. I'm not bit. here to secure the temple. Of course, I've been ignored again. How stupid of me. <laughs> If you're here, however, you must have the authority to enter the Dark Temple. You could still save this planet. Go on. I'm paying attention. The Dark Temple is ancient, built during a previous incarnation of our empire. A thousand years ago, our own emperor buried his enemies here. These enemies remain powerful, even in death, which is why the temple was sealed. But now, something terrible has happened. Let me get Some idiot went and woke them up. With the Emperor's attention elsewhere, a group of ambitious but ignorant Sith thought to gain power by raiding the temple. They didn't find the relics they sought. Instead, they awoke an ancient Sith Lord, Lord Kallig, and their expedition plunged into madness. What was this expedition? How many people were lost? At least a hundred. Several Sith, slaves, soldiers, <laughs> experts. All stupid. Because Lord Kallig died by ambush, I believe he awakened unaware of his own death, and his expectations became reality. For those around him, his power overwhelmed all inside the temple. And even now the workers plot wars against each other, believing themselves Sith Lords, and drawing terrible power from Kallig himself. Are there more dead Sith Lords in there? Ah, you begin to see the crisis. There are still more ancient Sith Lords whose spirits lay dormant in the temple. If the ancient Sith Lords awoken by the violence within, they could overrun Dromund Kars. 
All right. As much as I'm not fond of this planet... Let's keep them napping. I have studied all of the burial chambers within. Each was made with the same ancient design, one we can exploit. If you fuse the 500 kilogram hinges on each tomb door, even a violent assault should not be able to wake the ancients. How's that work? What do you got in mind? The team I sent in earlier was using a massive metal torch. Effective, but slow, I'm afraid. They did not make it far. The torch must be recovered, and the doors of the ancients sealed. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm going to stop right here. Uh, I'm going to upload this to YouTube. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Alright folks, like I said, I'm gonna stop right here, upload this. Um <laughs> I might be back later on. Uh because I have um Yeah. Might have um Oh, what was I going to say? Yes, I was... Uh... God. <laughs> I will be back later. I may be back uh, sometime later on tonight. And... Um, we'll continue. I will pro... I don't know. I may go with the Sith. And then follow up with the Bounty, bounty Hunter missions. So, alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care, be safe, and be seeing you. And may the Force be with you.